we are going to be showing you how to make a Morse code launcher, my um, new invention. It's called um, the Morse code launcher. I created it. It's with a set, with a set of contraptions. So if you want to get it, we'll mention it in the next video. So before we do this, I'm, I want to make sure we can get, um, how about 30 views before June. June isn't that far away, guys. It's only like three, four weeks away. So can we get that? Um, I really want to get that. So guys, um, let's get started. First, you are going to need a circuit board. Well, board with circuits connecting. Next, you're going to need the battery pack. You can get the batteries from Kroger, and uh, the, it comes with the battery pack. Next, connect the battery Zoom pack. in. Zoom in. Don't zoom in. Okay, that's good. Next, what you need to do is grab this switch and connect it over there. Third, what you need to do, no, wait. So, do it there. Then, two pieces, connecting them right there. Sam, please hold it. Right, okay? Sorry, guys, my brother has sometimes filming errors. Next, you want to grab your light. No, doesn't matter what light. Just put it over here. I'm going to explain to you how this works. Now, you're going to need the red wire. See? This is the red wire. Connect one end to the end of the switch. And connect the other end to the far end of the light. Now, look. It doesn't work. Because this is why it doesn't work. So, you see... Sam, film it right. So, you see, the battery pack is giving power to all of this right now. Not necessarily. This is only giving power. This is... Like, when I press this, there's an activation in there, but it, it's still powered. But when I activate it, the light doesn't activate. Just because the battery pack is connected to the two-piece, which connects to the switch, which leads to the light through the wire, doesn't mean it all has power. To make it power, you need a second wire. With this wire, Connect it to the other end of the battery pack and connect it to the close end. You see, now when I press the switch, the light lights up. This is because this is because now the light is getting power from the battery pack. Plus the activation, when I press the activation, is activated by the wire. Sam, please. Move it up. It's activated by the wire. Which goes into the light. So when I press it, look at look at the light. Look at the light. When I press it, boom, boom. Starts flashing. Okay, guys. So so um, now I'm gonna show you how to assemble this. I'm sure you can see it, but just in case you missed, maybe or your brother, or your sister, or your mom and dad will watch. Um, this is how you put it together. Battery pack. Plug it in. Switch. No studs away. Two piecer. Two piecer connecting the switch and the battery pack. That gives the switch power. Now, connect your light in the far corner. Huh? Can I see this for a project lab at the end? Yeah. Okay, so, um, next, red wires, next, red wire, connect to the other end of the switch, connect to the far end of the light, next, you're going to need the black wire, connecting to the other end of the battery pack, and connecting to the other end, what, it doesn't matter what wires go where, but it doesn't matter on all the other stuff. And there we go.
So guys, that is the Morse code launch for my own creation. This is from Project Lab. Yeah, from Project Lab. Hey Sam, could you um could you hold this? Could, guys, I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna pause it until I get the Project Lab kit and then I'm gonna show you it. Okay guys, so here is the Project Lab kit. Um it's called Snap Circuits Project Lab. I don't know how much it costs, but this is build number three, which is force four. So guys, anyway. The Morris Code Launcher. Number three. I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And three, two, one.